What's up guys? Nick here for another edition of Fresh Build Friday. Alright, today we're going to be building a dual macro coil setup using 24 gauge cantle wire and I'm going to guess the resistance will be about 0 0.25, 0 0.3. Uh, we're going to be using a 1 8 inch drill bit to wrap around and we're going to do, a, I think, six wraps. We're going to be using Space Jam e-liquid. Uh, Galactica flavor which is fresh from the Miami vape convention with a big shout out to my friend Chris over at CJ eSigs who brought this back for me thanks a lot buddy so yeah let's see what tools we're gonna be using and build her up alright guys so today as I said we're gonna be building dual 24 gauge macro coils and we'll be building it on a still air clone using a 1 8 inch drill bit and as always we have our screwdriver, tweezers, wire cutters, and I have a pair of pliers here just in case we have to move around the coils a little bit once we get, it, get them on the atomizer. Here I have my two strands about six inches long of 24 gauge cantle wire and I have my pre-made wicks just to save a little bit of time. Alright so let's get building. So first thing you want to do is grab one of your strands of canthal and your drill bit and you just want to make six quick wraps. Just pinch the wire right against the drill bit with a little bit excess for leverage and you're just going to wrap six wraps. and as always we're going to back away our first lead and straighten them out so there we go that's our first macro coil and we're going to build another one same way six wraps alright so there's our second one now that we have our two macro coils we're gonna install them on our still air as always you want to take the lead with the uh, wire going over the top and face it towards the positive post and you want want to get this one as close as you can to the posts. You might need to take your pliers here and just give it a little tug because this wire is thick. Alright, now we're going to take our screwdriver and lock in our negative post. Now we're going to take our second coil, thread it on through. Snug everything up and lock it all in place. Now we're going to straighten up our coils with a drill bit. so we can get them right where we want them. Now you want to clip the excess wire as close as you can to the posts. Here are our final macro coils all built. Now we're gonna give it a reading real quick. It's about 0.28. Yeah, 0.28. Alright. Now we're gonna take it off the ohm meter and put it on our mod and fire it up. At first you just want to pulse it to see if you have any hot spots. Hopefully they will work themselves out. Yep, 
There we go. Now we're just going to squish up our coils a little bit. All right, now they're firing pretty even, glowing pretty bright. So we're going to wick them, juice them up, and see how she vapes. All right, now I've made my wicks a little bit extra fluffy today, using a little bit more cotton than I normally do. So hopefully this works. All right, so a little bit less cotton than I normally use, but we're gonna see how it wicks. Just tuck the first tail right under, and the rest, you wanna fill up that juice well. Now in my experience, macro coils drink juice like crazy, so be prepared to be dripping a little more often than you're used to. Let's juice her up and see how she fires. So there you go, Space Jam, Galactica. Now before we let her rip, let's just quickly see what kind of vapor we get out of it. Oh yeah, she's a chuckin'. Alright, so let's go back to the main screen and we'll see what she vapes like. Alright guys, that was the dual macro coil build using 24 gauge Canthal. Now we're going to see how she vapes. Now, as far as this flavor, I really haven't tried it that much, so can't really say too much about how that is compared to other coils. I have built these coils before, and I've noted that they do bring out some of the slight notes to the juice that you might not taste otherwise, but uh, the vapor is excellent. Uh, it's not quite as dense as other coils, but you do get tons of vapor out of it. Uh, the throat hit, definitely more noticeable in these kind of coils. This is definitely a warm to hot vape, so if you're one of the people that like a warmer vapor, then this coil is definitely for you. As far as the difficulty of this build, I'd say it's no more difficult than any other micro coil build. And just getting the, the dual coils in there, that's probably the most challenging part to it. Otherwise, um, yeah, I definitely recommend this for anyone that's looking for something a little bit different. If you're tired of micro coils and you want to use a, a larger gauge wire, this one's for you. Now, um, with the macro coil, the macro is the, the biggest that I've seen so far, and it goes macro, micro, nano, and super nano, in that order, from biggest to smallest. Um, the wicks on this one I built were a little bit larger than I normally build, so I'm just going to take another rip, see how it wicks. As you can see, plenty of vapor production seems to be wicking pretty well at this point. Definitely give it a try. I would definitely recommend this for anyone that's already built themselves plenty of micro coils and just wants to look for something a little bit different. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Stay tuned next week for another Fresh Build Friday. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, vape on.